okay so um in this session we will discuss another grant type which is klein credential grant type right as you can see here so so far we have discussed code uh grant type authorization code grant type implicit grant type now we are going to discuss the client credential grant type right now this is really simple as compared to other two that we discussed um and most important thing in this grant type is that it is used for um application to application integration or business to business integration we do not have any resource owner right and we also do not deal with authorization endpoint right i mean definitely we do not have resource owner with there is no point to have the uh, authorization endpoint because there is no there is no one who will authorize who will provide the authorize so in this grant type what happens say suppose you have a client right who want to access a uh, protected resource on a protected server right and this client will have his own um client id and client secret right to uh, to authenticate himself right uh and 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 he don't need uh, uh anyone's authorization right so that is uh, the, the that is about this grant type and uh, so because we do not have uh, any resource owner to provide any kind of authorization client will have his own client id and the client password and uh, it will use that to uh, access the protected resource and um, what else beside that as i mentioned um client will directly connect to token endpoint okay so in this case what happens your client sends the request to directly token endpoint on the authorization server okay when it sends the request it sends grant type it sends some parameters right in the uh, in in the url right and it sends uh, that request directly to token endpoint right and it sends the uh, query parameter as a grant type okay let, let me write it grant type scope client id and client id and client secret right so in this particular grant type your client right actually owns the resources on the protect uh, protected resource server there is no one else to authorize it so it provides these values and send the request to the uh, token endpoint your token endpoint uh, on the authorization server validates the client id client secret right and uh, and and um, uh grant type and the scope right so in in this particular case grant type is actually client underscore credential right the value of grant type will be client underscore credential and the scope that has already been set up 
right in in the authorization server for this client he can uh, specify one of those uh, one of one of that scope right and then the client id client secret that has already been provided by the authorization server to the client so he sent the request to token endpoint with these parameters and if everything is valid right your authorization server on the token endpoint generates a x um generates a access token right now we have discussed about the access token right jwt access token right your client then use that access token right to access the protected resource so he base so he basically sends a uh, request to access the protected resource or the protected api on the protected server with that access token right and that access token is sent as a bearer token in the in the uh, in the header in the authorization header okay and yes uh, th that's uh, another important thing um, auth in auth 2.0 we send all access tokens as a bearer token right so bearer token means uh, whoever owns or ha have that uh, uh, access token right he has a right to use it that is why we call that token as a bearer token right so um, client will connect to the protected resource once it get the uh, access token and it will send that access token to protected resource and now we know that protected uh, resource has capability to validate it because it's a jwt token and if it's validated by the protected resource successfully then it will provide access to the api to client right or to the to the resource to the client right now there will be an obvious question uh, that uh, in this case why we need to use or 2.0 here right because uh, there is no delegation of uh, authorization right so even in this client credential grant type uh, there is no delegation of uh, uh, authorization but still we are using the same security mechanism to provide security to our apis right and just imagine i mean if, if we do not have this kind of thing then if i'm building an api i'm creating an api then i have to build a security mechanism around that or to to uh, to to me uh, to secure that api right but if we use this protocol and this grant type right i can use some uh, maybe third party authorization server right and uh, i can use their service to protect my api right i don't need to build a uh, security mechanism around my api i can use which is already available in the market so and that is the one uh, advantage of this and the second advantage is as you can see right we have separate the cross-cutting concerns from the main business functionality which is uh, which is of the api so we have separated the security part from the api and we have given the security and the authentication and authorization uh, responsibility to our uh, uh, authorization uh, authorization server right uh, so the point is uh, this grant type client credential grant type is basically used uh, when your client want to access a resource but the client has the client id and client secret to access that resource right and then we use this uh, very com commonly for uh, in the integrations right uh, where we want to call uh, call a api which is hosted on some other server right outside of our own domain right so it's uh, it's a very uh, uh, widely used uh, in those scenarios so api to api communication and to provide the security 
so this is our client credential grant types now we will look into all these things again we will discuss all these aspects again when we run our practical sessions right where we'll uh, use a authorization server and then we'll secure our api using that authorization server so we'll discuss this uh, grant type again but for now uh, that is everything about the client credential grant type okay um that's it